everyone, nice to see you all again. It's time to listen to another Eurovision 2024 song. This time it comes from Serbia. And this is going to be Ramonda by Teja Dora. I'm just kind of guessing in terms of pronunciation here, but that sounds decent enough. Uh, this was picked not too long ago, a week or so ago. Um, Serbia's representative. I'm going to be checking out the music video today just because I want to take in the whole like uh, audio experience of it without really... Uh, relying on, on subpar sound mixing, if, if that's the case, or just I just want the impression of, of the actual song, how it sounds in a studio cut. So that's that's what I'm going with, and I hope you don't mind me choosing this version. If it has an incredible staging behind it, well, I guess I'll find out, find that out later. Regardless, I'm excited to listen to Serbia's song. I usually am very much a fan of, of what they send to Eurovision, so hopefully this will be no different. Ramonda, Teadora, I'm ready. Hope you are as well. Let's listen. All right, I'm not really sure what to make of all, everything that Serbia gave us this year. This is certainly something that stands up and, and it really just goes up my alley, absolutely. I like this whole kind of epic tone that it tries to establish while still being very, very close and, and intimate. And I feel very much like a vulnerability to it, which I think is just presented correctly here. The, the instrumental is scaled back, especially in the opening. You only have this piano that creates a very simple sway movement. To, to the song, and I think that is just very kind of comforting to, to kick off the song with, uh, and the vocal just being kind of the core that ties everything together. It's very much just a vocal experience, this, because there's a really huge reliance on reverb, really creating the soundscape behind this song. Um, and I, I kind of like that, you know, it definitely creates a mood that is certainly something you can get lost into very easily. I think maybe as the song progresses, it's a little bit on the Maybe you'd like more of kind of an instrumentation variation throughout the song, like uh, actually establishing more instrumental inputs, because right now it feels like they basically have their set of instruments uh, to create the whole uh, atmosphere of the song. It, it, is, it is the strings, it is the piano, it is the drums, uh, and the backing vocals really kind of carry a lot of the weight as well. Um, maybe just like this slight little variation, maybe getting some actual input fr from um, like a like an arpeggio or a pluck if you want to go the electronic uh, route or maybe just some some glossy guitar in there to just offer kind of a distinction to the rest of the track because I think maybe it's lacking that maybe you could also you don't need to throw in a new instrument but you could also like um, increase the piano's uh, actual identity within the song actually allow that some time to shine really create some something intense going on there because now I feel like all the intensity really comes from kind of epic drums that are just very slow, you know, it, it tries to be monumental, it tries to be epic, uh, and the drums do a, do a part of that, and also the strings, of course. Um, but I think the vocals really are what, what has to carry a lot of it. And the thing is, with all of this intensity, there's nothing that actually goes as kind, at kind of like a rapid speed. And it doesn't have to be something that goes faster than, than the rest of the song, but I think it could have been a nice detail to just add an additional type of life to the song. I think that that's just maybe like, I'm not going to call it a missed opportunity because if they wanted to write a song like this, then they should. Um, but I think that I would have probably liked it if there was a little bit of just one small instrumental input that actually had a contrasting uh, rhythm to it. Uh, and I, I would imagine like a piano that actually goes a bit faster and actually has a melody to contrast these slow, dragged out notes that all of both like vocals, strings and the drums actually establish right now. Um, I think that could have been neat, just kind of have some variation within the song uh, and something that actually tries to build uh, some energy and life into it. Because right now it feels very much like something that's scaled back. It, you know, it's a, it's a very wide and, and kind of, um, I guess, grand listening experience, but it's not one of these that actually has like some energy or, or some something that actually pushes the song forward. There's no real drive to it, and maybe that holds it back just a little bit. It's certainly something that relies on its vulnerability, I think, and maybe that's why they don't want to have a drive within the song. They just want it to slowly progress and just build on this kind of grandness that it actually has. But I think it could have been a nice touch or a nice just dynamic switch up to, um, to offer something that really pushes the song forward as well. Because right now I feel like it's stagnating maybe halfway through and I'm just like, I wanted to take that extra step, even though I'm certainly intrigued by, by how the atmosphere of the song works. I just wanted to take that extra step and really kick into gear. 
Um, and during that little breakdown part towards the end as well, they kind of just scale everything back. It's only piano and vocal. Sure, it's intimate, but maybe I just want that evolution to actually get the song to, to its final destination with some proper, uh, just engaging part and, and something that's actually very compelling. It feels like they want to captivate you by just being this scaled back and intimate song altogether. Uh, and then the strings and drums really have to kind of carry all of that load of of actually making it sound as majestic as they want it to be. Um, but I'm not really like sold on, on songs just being overly slow, I guess I guess you would say, in just terms of progression. I don't mind a song that's that's you know just very uh, casually going along in a uh, in, at a slow tempo and at a slow rhythm. That's completely fine. But I want some detail in there to just contrast that, so that we still have a core of we're gonna get to our destination and you're gonna be intrigued and and hooked for the entire runtime until we get there. Uh, and maybe I just I, I'm just like I want that. I want that. Just this slight slight detail thrown in there to actually take us there. I think I'm kind of getting caught up on just that part now because I, I do also have to mention that I did really much, did very much enjoy listening to this. It's certainly up my alley in terms of its actual approach that it has. I think the vocals sound great. I like that little evolution towards the end as well where the vocals actually, like, you know, just goes to the extra step. They don't need to do that, but they want to because they really want to hammer home that this is certainly an experience to listen to, not just a simple tune. Um, so it's it's nice. It has a lot of great ideas in there. Maybe just the detailing, just slightly, and then I would have been completely on board. But for now, I'm satisfied. Absolutely, I'm going to be listening to it more. I know I will. Uh, I'm quite intrigued by it, and I did very much enjoy this. So now I'm very much looking forward to hear how did you enjoy this song? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Please let me know whatever it is you feel about it. Uh, and maybe the staging elevates it to a millionth degree. I, I have no idea. I guess I gotta. I gotta take a look at it now as well to, to figure out if that was a part uh, as well because of course it did win a national final and usually a very competitive one at that. So uh, yeah, great to listen to. Thank you very much Serbia once again for providing something that I did enjoy. Um, I can always count on you. Thank you though to every one of you who have watched this video. I very much appreciate it. Hope to see you soon again. Until then though, take care of yourselves and bye for now.